This is Stefan Yanev, Head of Research and Development for Clean Health. I've been in the fitness industry for over 20 years and educated over 5,000 personal trainers globally. In today's video, we're going to talk about protein distribution and does it really matter for muscle growth. Now, when we're talking about protein distribution, what we need to consider is this. When we consume protein, that leads to an elevation in muscle protein synthesis. Now, there's a limit to how much muscle protein synthesis we can stimulate in a given sitting, okay? And muscle protein synthesis will typically remain elevated for only about three hours following a meal. That means, if you miss a window to stimulate muscle protein synthesis, you cannot make up for it later by having more protein in another meal. So from that standpoint, if you're performing something like intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding, and you're only having one or two meals a day, basically you're not going to be able to make up for those earlier windows of muscle protein synthesis that you missed because you're going to already hit the cap for maximal muscle protein synthesis at each of your meals. So having said that, if you're looking to maximize muscle growth, you would want Want to look at getting at least three or four meals a day minimum just so you can hit the maximal protein synthesis threshold at each meal and have the meals often enough so that you're stimulating muscle protein synthesis multiple times a day. If you like this video make sure to click the like button, subscribe, share the video and if you have any comments please post them below.